she spent quite a lot of time looking at my ear without saying what was in there. And I think it was after about an hour, my mum, my mum asked her, you know, and said, can you see what it is? The doctor had seen that there was something quite out of the ordinary going, going on in the ear. And the doctor said, if you don't mind, I'd, I'd prefer to go and speak to the registrar before, before I tell you anything. And um, my mum said, oh, please tell us. And, and I said as well, you know, no, please, I, I want to know. And that's when she said, you've got maggots in your ear. Doctors ordered a CT scan to establish what damage had already been done, how many maggots were still inside Rochelle, and where they were hiding. I was very scared. Were they in my brain? I thought, you know, this could be very, very serious. Our main concern was the facial nerve at risk. And the facial nerve controls all of the muscles of expression on that side of your face. The scan showed Rochelle's eardrum and facial nerve were undamaged, but the maggots had chewed a 12 millimeter hole in her ear canal. Although the CT had guided us as to the size of the cavity, it was important for us to have a full explore around the soft tissue cavity and make sure that it wasn't extending anywhere particularly dangerous, like the facial nerve or blood vessels. Given Rochelle's traumatised state, she was sedated in preparation for surgery. Unsure of just what they might find, the surgical team explored Rochelle's ear using a microscope and a speculum. And as I pushed the speculum through the little hole that opened out, I saw a writhing mass of maggots. It was clear that the maggots already extracted weren't dining alone.